Of course, we've got the growth crystal in the mo in the middle there. Can we harvest that? Yes, we can. Apparently. Ooh. Chairs look improbable. What does that mean? Quest complete. Nice. Didn't do anything, but nice. Oh, we lost this cactus there, but that's fine. We'll sort that out again in a second. Oh, here we go. We're starting to get a bit more space now. This is good stuff. So we're going to move our dirt down here, aren't we? What does this do? Chiseled metamorphic me uh, messer stone brick. Meta... What does it do? Does it, I mean, is it just a metamorphic brick? What does a metamorphic brick do? Do you know, guys? Do you know what one actually does? Metamorphic forest stone. Cobblestone. I don't think it... It has no use. I was, gonna, I was just about to say, I don't think it has any form of use. So... Alright, we'll have a little 3v3 down here. We'll let the uh, the grass... I don't know if you need to... Block. I'm pretty sure you don't, but I'm going to do that anyway. Uh, and let that spread down. Okay, guys. Brilliant. We've got some moving to do. I think we can shift and right click. Oh, we could. How did we pick things up? I can't remember out what button it was. I'm sure it was shift and right click and you can pick stuff up and then put it down again. For the uh, for the chests, but maybe that's not the, uh, not the. We'll get rid of that as well at some point soon. Um, I want to try to keep as many as much of that glowstone there as physically possible. But let's just nom on a cooked apple. And um, we'll put the rest of that into there. And let's see what we've got to go. So we got six experience levels from that, which is awesome. Oh, we've, uh, we've unlocked quite a bit of stuff here. So, north, south, east, and west. So, thermal expansion, Britannia, Ender.io, and actually additions. Of course, I want to go down the Ender.io route. Um, no, I don't. I want to go down the thermal expansion route first. Requires north. Lovely. <laughs> so, oh, here we go. Look, I think we can uh, have tasks so we can get something to maybe open up. Oh, here we go. As I clear away the shiny white stone. I seem to have arrived at a crossroads of sorts. Four windows in four walls reveal glimpses of what is behind them. I long to explore them all, to spread out and finally have space to work in. But the glass seems, if anything, harder than this new impenetrable shell. But I seem to have been given a gift. The label reads, Thayer's super strong, awesome power pick number one of four. Guaranteed to break any block, guarantee Void after two years. Oh, God damn it. You would have picked Britannia. The thing is, I need power. Power's the biggest thing. And that the um, the biggest thing for me to automate things. Right, I'm going to claim that. We're going to get the pick of choice. We have to actually get one of these things to be able to do that. I see. Well, guys, we've come to a choice. Um, for me, personally, with uh, with the pick, make a door. What? I don't know what you mean. Do you believe one of one? And I can't make of one of these picks of choice. We've got a choice anyway, guys. We have a choice. Make a hole. Oh yeah, I know. I know which way. We we just need to choose a way of going through it. Because all of these are separate ways. Like we can't use this. Look, harvestable. No, we can't use this to do this. This is not something that we can do. It would have been nice to cheese the system a little bit there, but uh, I'm really tempted to choose the thermal X. Oh, nice. We can get rid of that now. I'm really tempted to choose the thermal expansion route and I'd like to get, get your guys opinions on this because I think getting power is the key to automation personally that's what I think Zhao Chen you say pick thermal Pokes said would have picked Britannia is there a reason why you would have picked Britannia before I uh, before I do it thermal expansion you go for thermal as well 
I, to me, it just seems, because when we look at it, magmatic, we're stuck with gears. We're stuck with this gear working die. And once we can do this, magmatic dynamos, we'll be well away. Well away. With power, we can automate these sort of systems that we've got here. Um, instead of using this, because this runs out like you won't believe really, really quickly. So, doing that. I do apologise, guys. I think I'm going to sneeze. It's really annoying. I think I'm on it. <laughs> I think I've got it. I just like Britannia. Never, uh, never used the other ones. Yeah, this is all well and good, but it doesn't keep up. As soon as I put something in here, this will start draining. And it doesn't matter how much oak wood I've got in there. I can always make another coal generator and do it like that. But what would be the point, I think? Thermal expansion has got to be the way that we go. Turning north, peer through the glass, you see a simple machine block and a gear. Thermal expansion will introduce you to simple and versatile material processing and automation, as well as access to better power generation. Okay, there's that. We can always read these, actually. There's a lovely green lawn beyond the south window, and you can see a single flower gently glowing. Britannia will introduce you to a more magical type of engineering that is powerful, but requires its own mystical energy. And we, I don't think we've got enough room to do that at this current moment in time. East, looking into the room to the east, you see nothing. Well, nothing much. Perhaps yet another type of stone, which isn't exactly what you need. Or is it? Ender.io introduces a suite of machines that are, and alloys that let you work with materials in new ways. More spe most spectacular are its conduits that let you move, sort and power items and machines in powerful yet compact ways. To get started just strike the flint and steel on the bedrock until you achieve infinity. And another sort of, you can make some power with uh, Ender.io but I think thermal's got to be the way to go hasn't it? It has to be the way to go. And the last one, of course, to the west is a mysterious machine. A pinpoint of red light suggesting some sort of laser. Actually, Additions gives you multiple ways to transfer, uh, transform the metals you are already familiar with into new and powerful variations. Most of these changes take place in the world in front of your eyes instead of hidden inside the walls of a mysterious block. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do it, guys. I think that uh, thermal expansion is definitely the, uh, the way to go got to try and... Is it is this way? That's thermal expansion, right? Yeah, because it's there. So here we go. There's one. Oh, yes. There we go. We're through, guys. We've got a little bit more space here as well, and these are actually blocked out. Um, it's a good job... It's a good job I've brought blocks with me. Oh, what's that? It's a good job I brought blocks, because <laughs> imagine coming into this room without a block, and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, how do I get out? Because <laughs> you can't jump on top of a torch like that. Oh, here we go, guys. This is brilliant. Right, I've got to F7 this, because we have got spaces things can spawn, and I can't really see it because of this, um, you know, block type we've got going on here. What about behind here? Nothing behind there, of course, because there's fire. Nothing behind there either. Good. Right, I think we're all right. Oh, let's turn the F7 off. Lovely. We're in here. We've got the compactor. It's got a little bit of power in there, but that's not a problem because we can fill that up anyway. Um, we need... Woo, we need that off the wall. We'll do nicely. So this one... Is this... Now then... Oh, I can get this. Now then! Uh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. That was good. <laughs> Lick my balls. As, uh, as now followed, guys. Let's all say hello to Lick My Balls. And I'm sure you'll enjoy it. <laughs> So here, I'm presuming this is an area where things can spawn. It looks that way, so I'm quite happy about that. Um, in fact, I'm going to keep them there. What do the levers do? Let's give it a try. It's on. 
I have no idea. I literally don't know. I'm going to turn them off <laughs> because I don't know what it does. But here we go. We've got the compactor. We've got this uh, augment. Hardened upgrade kit. Turning north and peering through. We've already done that one. Let's claim the hardened upgrade kit then. And that opens up for us the thermal expansion side of things, which is awesome. I cannot wait to get into some of this, guys. Here we go. Gears. At the center of every machine and more in this mod are gears. Often these gears are craftable, but in this pack they can only be made in this compactor with a gear working die installed in the augment panel. To install augments into any machine, you first need to upgrade them by right clicking them with an upgrade kit. Okay. Ooh. We may need... Can we move this? Although I don't think I want to. I like the fact it literally lights up the room. Does it? What room? It lights up what room? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. It literally lights up the room. It didn't do anything. So we need to uh, we need to augment. We can always move this at a later stage anyway, so it's not... The other rooms. Oh, okay. So, how do we do this? Oh, we need the upgrade kit, don't we? There we go. That has been successfully upgraded now. And uh, we can put the augment slot in there for a gear working die. So we can now um, do that. In fact, I'm going to move this. Hopefully it's not going to mess up. Please tell me it's not going to mess up. Good. It's not messed up. Is it kept the thing inside of it as well. I'm hoping it has. Because I can put that behind here and then that'll gain power from uh, the thing next to it as well. So, good. That is good. We've done that one now. We need a tin and a copper gear. One tin, one copper gear. We need to move some of this stuff. As I use some of this stuff, guys, I am going to move it downwards so that it's uh, easier to get to. Like that. Rather than moving everything all at once. As I use it, bring it down. Boop. No. Boop. There we go. And uh, we need... Oh, we'll, we'll carry on doing that. Do I have any more? Yes, I do. That's tiny charcoal. Is that not tiny coal? I need tin. Pulverized tin. But I need one more, I do believe. Put that in there and get grinding away. We'll get grinding. It literally lights up the other rooms, does it now? Mm. Oh, I'm quite I'm quite surprised at the direction that this pack has gone right there. I think that's that's a good little touch. It's a nice little surprise. I like stuff like that. It reminds me of uh, the Solitary Asylum when I did that map. And I had the little rooms that you could open with keys and stuff to be able to get certain things out that you couldn't do that mod until you'd opened these rooms. And it, it does remind me of that. It does remind me of it. It's, I, I like stuff like that. The sense of achievement working towards something. Sevtech, my goodness. There's some sense of achievement on there, I can tell you that much. Right, let's get rid of all this and start putting the tin in. Um, and we needed, what was it, copper as well, wasn't it? Got loads of that. In fact, have we got... No, it's bronze. Oh, I can't wait till this is automated, guys. And it will come. It will come. Now we've got access to power as well. It will definitely be coming. We've got out the diorite. We are in to the polished obsidian, by the looks of things. I hope eventually you can like break out and have a, like a complete world to yourself and sort of expand into the world with some more quests maybe that'd be interesting now then uh, E19 game welcome to the stream how are we doing here just a little bit more of the tin and then we can get on with the copper sometime uh, shortly and get the uh, and get those two gears going is that still um, is that still working away? Look at that full stack now. 64 wood. 
What are you doing? I am currently in my Minecraft cranking away. Doing some cranking, Gamer. Doing some cranking. I do like a good bit of cranking. I'm doing a mod pack as well called uh, Breakout, which is basically you start in a very small place and you slowly sort of break out of the different layers that you're stuck in. And at the moment I'm stuck in a layer of uh, polished obsidian, which is nice. What is cranking? Well, this right here. Spinning this thing, crushing down these things into uh, ores that I can actually smelt. Like that. So, I need a tin gear. I think it's four into there, and that compacts it down into a tin gear for us, which is uh, very nice. There we go. And I need one copper gear as well, which I've just got to wait for this copper to uh, to smelt down. Oh, magmatic dynamo. I cannot wait for that. That is going to change my life forever. It's not... I mean, this is okay, and it's and it's keeping up, actually, to uh, to the machine behind it. It just doesn't keep up with these, the auto hammerer, the auto sieve, and stuff like that. So, and that's the main things that give us all of the things that we can uh, we can work with. So, that is what we need to concentrate on doing. Sounds so dirty for when Toff says cranking. I intentionally say it that way. <laughs> I do. I do. I intentionally do say it that way. So there we go, we've got the gears now, we can claim one level of experience and we can move on now to somewhere else. And here we go, power. Yes, please. That is exactly what I'm going to go for. We've got basic machines as well, wet work and the phytogenic insulator. But this is the one, magmatic dynamo, it's exactly what I was wanting anyway. Keep it PG. I always keep it PG. Thermal expansion really expands, expands our options for power generation with the use of dynamos. Each type takes different fuel or fuels to generate power and accepts different augments. One good option for a skyblock style map like this is the magmatic dynamo using lava generation we have already set up. But there are others you can choose to explore. Um, we need to make a magmatic dynamo, which is Invar. Which, did I make any spare Invar? I'm not sure if I did. So it's pulverized iron and nickel. There it's nickel. Right, let's sort of sort of our <laughs> sort of our inventory out a little bit here because it's getting a bit silly. Uh, I don't need that. That can go into there with ease. Tin, aluminium, Iron. Oh no, I need that iron, don't I, to make some more invar. I don't think I've got any more invar left, by the looks of things. Move to the PC, phone is a little bit too far, it's too small of a screen. Yeah, I know, when you're watching live stream, or you're watching something like that, then, uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite, uh, Minecraft, my favourite. I don't know, it's like, it's just a, it's a nice game, it's just a nice game to play, I suppose, like, that's the only way... The only reason I play it like that, <laughs> it's just a nice game to play. Relaxing. The elusive Toffman. Now then, Trina Wolf. Welcome to the stream. I did see you a little bit earlier, said you was going to pop back in. How are things? Did you manage to find us yet on the uh, SevTech world? Did he manage to find us? We are literally about east from you. If you watch the uh, the thing back, Trina Wolf, then um, you might be able to see which, which direction I came from. You're very close to where... I think... Um, Archangel's south to where you are. And not too far away from where you are either. It has to be said. Right, nickel, copper, tin... Getting all the stuff here, guys. Look at this. Right, so that and that makes six in there. Which is precisely what I'm after. Because four for that, then five, six. That's exactly what I'm after, in fact. Okay, let's grab a couple, some of this charcoal. Put that on there. 
Is this on Realm or a server? No, this is uh, simply... Um, this one, this pack here, is simply single player. So there's nobody else is involved in this world. The other one, the other stream that I do on Tuesday, is involved um, with a server, and it's a, it's a Patreon server. Auto-correct shenanigans. No luck in football finding you to, <laughs> in football. The VOD's not there anymore. Oh, no, you're kidding. I was hoping to get that and, uh, and edit it down, but it's just getting the blooming time to edit it. We, when I've got videos as well to record on top of doing these streams, it's not easy to go, on, uh, uh, go and, and edit it sometimes. The breakout, I've got to do the other breakout because I put the other one already onto, this, onto uh, YouTube, so I've got to do that one. It's just finding the time to be able to do it. Right, we're nearly there with this one then, guys. Two iron, bit of redstone, bit of silver as well, actually. That's what we do need. Right, shove that into there. That'll make us an Invar gear. Um, the silver is up here somewhere. Have I actually pulverized any of that down? I don't think I have. Silver. Oh, I can't wait till there's an easier way of doing this. Doing it all through the wooden crank. I mean, even getting the pulverizer is going to be absolutely awesome. When I can do that, as soon as I jump on the chat, that's wild. Need some books to trade from villagers. But all my villagers have burnt, turned into zombies and died off. See, that's what... When I did the pokes, I made sure, when I, when I was setting up my area, that I went far enough away from the village to... Um, to not keep it loaded so that nothing will you know spawn over by the villagers and mess it all up leave me leave football mad gamer welcome to the stream um i don't like talking about that sort of stuff on stream it's very polarizing it is very polarizing i am of the opinion that everybody has a say everybody can have an opinion and um that's perfectly all right i mean just take for example um Ava, a, a kiss for luck, very much on the side of Remain, but it doesn't it not it doesn't matter because when we're when we're talking, like I, I popped into her stream a little bit earlier on, and um, you know when we're talking, we're just two normal people carrying on with a life. I don't like it when politics and, and stuff like this sort of like comes into real life and forces friendships to go a different way forces people to start on other people for what they think is right it's not fair i mean i put my opinion out they're live streaming the petition not allowed to mention leave got instant ban you are joking you see what i mean like you can say this is what i don't like like people everybody every single individual is allowed to have an opinion and they can have that opinion i just don't like the fact that um people can attack other people for their opinion that I'm not I'm not up for that I'm not up for that I'm not a fan I'm afraid when it comes to stuff like that it's crazy it is crazy the whole entire process is ridiculous and crazy itself we could get into the long and shorts of it but I'm here to just relax chill out do a good stream and not get involved in any of that brexit rubbish do I like Fortnite or Apex more? Apex, definitely. Apex is definitely my uh, my favourite. Can't stand Fortnite. I like I liked Fortnite when it was a PVE game, and then it changed to a PVP, and I'm really not interested. And that's all they were bothered about. They've they'd, I went on it a little bit later on because my lad told me that there was an update, and um, they took and they've. They've taken the the entire skill set of that, just completely wiped it out, and it's I, I don't know what they're playing at with the PVE side of things. It's they've ruined it, absolutely ruined it. Not allowed Apex because it's 16. Are you a nipper? Is that why you need things PG? Silver. There we go. We've got some silver going here, guys, as well. Good. Right, let's get that going. Got nine silver. That'll be enough for that. Two iron. We should have two iron, actually. Yes, we do. Two iron. Um, two invar. We need our invar gear, which is over here. Rhymes. A um, bit of redstone, which I do have as well. I think it's in here. 
Nice. Oh, we're so close now, guys. We're missing that. We need a bit of silver. There we go. And there we are. Magmatic Dynamo. Make an iron sword. There's not much point. <laughs> there's nothing to kill. There's literally there's nothing to here to uh, to make an iron sword to kill, to be honest. We've got a magmatic dynamo, which is exactly what we need right now. Um, now where to place it? Where to put this though? I think I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna get rid of this entire setup and we're gonna have machines along the side the back side of this wall. I keep this poor strainer setup. Keep setting it up and moving it all the time. Oh god, it's full of stuff. It's full of loads of stuff, guys. Alright, let's get rid of some stuff into here. So that wants to go into there. That does. That does. That does. That does. These can. That does. And all the rest can sort of sort itself out between everywhere. Uh, that. That. All of this. I'll keep that because I'm going to eat that in a second. Well, there we go. Our inventory is looking slightly more tidier. And your iPad disconnects from Twitch every minute. Oh, there's not worse. There is nothing worse. Right, we're going to... Oh, my God. <laughs> we're going to put these auto sieves one lower. Now, I think I've tested this before. Oh, would you give me it back? Oh, Jeez. I've... I think I've tested this before. Oh, these, we've got an issue there, though. Haven't we? And that is... We're not going to be able to get anything next to it. Or underneath it. We're not going to be able to get that next to it on this side. Can we put it on the top? Is that something? No, we can't, because that's going to be there. Right, okay, we can't do that. God damn! Okay, so we... We're gonna have to keep it as it as it was, which is like that for the moment, at least. Anyway, basement problems. I know. I mean, my um, my modem, not modem. My router's downstairs. Um, I've got literally, if I can show you guys, I have right here, just to be able to stream, a cable that's literally going all the way downstairs because my internet is just terrible anyway but being over Wi-Fi is never any good so I've got a massive cable that just goes all the way downstairs um, but it's the same when I'm on my PlayStation in the bedroom sometimes when I'm trying to watch a video I have got cat and Bob up and no up are trying to get um, trying to get the thing to work from that far away it's really annoying my setup exactly all the cables. <laughs> I much prefer cables though. I mean, it's really nice to have the wireless connection and all, but it's just not good enough, is it? Let's be honest. Right, let's try and get rid of some of this stuff that we've got picked up off the floor here. Where did I put all the strainers and stuff? I need another chest. Have I got any more wood? Kicking around anywhere? Yeah, I've got a bit in there. So yeah, I can cheat slightly here by doing this, guys. And then putting one there. And it looks like I've stacked them all up. <laughs> when I really haven't. And I don't have to move the other ones either. So that's awesome. Alright, let's get rid of this. Oh, I need the obsidian pick. Are there any mobs? Not currently. Not in the, the place that we are currently at. Um, in fact, let me do something that looks a little bit like that. Because through here, we can spawn mobs. They can spawn in here. Because if we press F7, you can see the light level there. They will allow us to spawn in there. But we're too close. And uh, that's the problem we have at the moment. We're too close for those mobs to actually spawn for us. 